Whether you are operating John Deere Ag, construction or forestry equipment, or one of the thousands of other brands and types of machines powered by John Deere diesel engines, you can be confident that you are meeting emissions regulations efficiently, with minimal operator impact and with maximum performance. The John Deere Powertech Interim Tier 4 Stage 3B engines are some of the most advanced off-highway diesel engines in the world. Most of their advancements are designed not to be noticed. They operate behind the scenes, keeping your equipment running reliably in the toughest conditions. The emissions control system on your machine follows this same simple approach. Powertech Interim Tier 4 Stage 3B engines, 130 kilowatts or 174 horsepower and above, utilize an integrated exhaust filter that captures particulate matter, or PM, also known as soot or smoke. This two-part exhaust filter contains a diesel oxidation catalyst, or DOC, and a diesel particulate filter, or DPF. The DOC reacts with exhaust gases to reduce carbon monoxide, hydrocarbons, and some particulate matter. The downstream DPF forces exhaust gases to flow through porous channel walls, trapping and holding the remaining PM. These trapped particles are removed through a natural cleaning process, sometimes called passive regeneration, utilizing exhaust heat created under normal operating conditions or through an automatic cleaning process, commonly known as active regeneration. Let's take a look at symbols and controls the machine operator may see during filter cleaning. Most of the displays simply keep you informed about the system status and don't require direct action. The symbols are universal, but they will appear in different locations on different control panels depending on the machine. During natural cleaning, no symbols will be displayed and no operator action is required. Most applications, operating under normal conditions, will be able to run for extended periods of time using only natural cleaning. During the automatic cleaning process, the exhaust filter cleaning indicator displays. You may notice a higher idle speed and an elevated exhaust temperature. Action is only required if you elect to postpone the automatic cleaning process. You can continue to operate uninterrupted while automatic cleaning is taking place. Filter cleaning is complete when the engine returns to low idle and the exhaust filter cleaning indicator remains off. John Deere has optimized natural and automatic cleaning to make exhaust filter cleaning a seamless process to the operator. The regen system on this uh, reburns the exhaust and this is clean. I mean, I've never seen anything like this out of a diesel. The horsepower is still there, so it hasn't been restricted, so that's a great thing. This system is fully automatic, too. You don't have to set it off manually. It does it all by itself. The computer in it senses when it has an issue, and it just reburns your exhaust, and there's no human error involved. There's very minimal operator notice. I mean, we don't even know, driving the tractor, that we had anything different. But until it was explained, you just can't tell from the cab. To John Deere's Tier 4 emission solution is just the simplicity of it. It's just no additional hindrance to the operator. And that's what we want to do is we want that guy in the field working and not in the shop servicing or filling up. In rare cases or operating conditions, you may see one of these additional symbols on the control panel. For more information about these indicators and for complete instructions, refer to your operator's manual. There is no way to accurately predict how often filter cleaning happens. One thing you can be sure of is that automatic cleaning only occurs when natural cleaning is not possible based on temperature, load, and speed. It serves as a backup system. Soot is removed completely during filter cleaning. But ash, which is a byproduct of engine combustion, engine oils, and fuel additives, will eventually accumulate in the DPF. After approximately 5,000 hours, the accumulated ash will need to be removed from the DPF. There are several options for ash removal. However, John Deere is one of the first major manufacturers to offer a DPF exchange program through John Deere Reman. This option offers customers the fastest process for exchanging the DPF. 
See your John Deere dealer for details. Note that the gaskets must be replaced and the clamps inspected each time the DPF is removed. The DOC doesn't require service. For more information about filter servicing, consult your operator's manual. To ensure proper operation of the emissions control system, the engine, its ECU, and exhaust filter must be properly matched. Failure to maintain the proper matching of components may also result in higher fuel consumption and violation of governmental regulations. Customers should not swap or switch ECUs and exhaust filters between machines. John Deere PowerTech engines are the right technology right now. They are simple to install, operate, and maintain while delivering the power, fuel efficiency, reliability, and low cost of ownership you've come to expect from John Deere. They are field proven and fully supported by a network of 4,000 plus John Deere dealers and engine distributors worldwide. Remember, most interim Tier 4 Stage 3B processes happen behind the scenes with no impact on the operator or machine performance. With an understanding of a few basic symbols and procedures, you should operate your equipment the same way as with earlier John Deere engines. You know, it's just day in, day out, same operation that we did the day before.